What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 2. Let's get it. Alright, I just want to preface this by saying that this is not a paid review. Alright, so this shelter setup comes in a couple different parts, so I'm going to review those individually just so you can see. First, we have the tent itself, which comes in at 1.17 pounds. This shelter is made in America. It's fully seam sealed and constructed with DCF8 Dyneema composite fabric, formerly known as Cuban fiber. It's got a water resistant two-way zipper, comes with an extra large drawstring stuff sack for storage, eight reinforced perimeter tieouts, line locks on all perimeter tieouts, four center panel tieouts, specially designed cone to prevent deformation when using oddly shaped poles, paddles, sticks, or skis, dual peak vents that can open and close, So one thing I'll say about this shelter is it's absolutely massive. My friend Snap says that it's a palace for two, a kingdom for one. And he's absolutely right. The footprint on this thing is 8 feet 11 inches long, 6 feet 11 inches wide, and 5 feet 4 inches tall. So it's a pretty massive tent. Let's take a look inside. Now this shelter uses two straps uh, attached to your trekking poles to give you added headroom inside the shelter, which I think is a kind of cool feature. Uh, they weigh 0.5 ounces combined and will run you about 10 bucks. So to give you an idea of how big this is, I'm 5'10", and I can easily sprawl out in this thing. Now, if you just want a massive one-person tent, you could put all your gear, whatever, if you're going on a big expedition, whatever, to lay it all right there, or you could easily fit another person next to you. Now, if you just wanted to have a couple people hanging out in there, I'd say you could probably fit five, maybe six people. Now you can see how much ground clearance there is. I'd say it's probably about six inches, depending on how you pitch the tent. And uh, I've camped with it many a time in the rain, and it's just so big that you hardly even get any splashback uh, inside. So half of the time I set up, if it was raining, I wouldn't even put the liner in. Now I can definitely attest to this thing being a four season shelter. I used it in the desert. I've used it in severe wind conditions. I've used it in severe rain conditions. And I've also used it in temperatures down into single digits when it was snowing out. Well there you have it, the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 2. In the next few weeks I'm going to be reviewing the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Echo 2 tarp tent shelter. So stick around for that and as always if you got any comments or suggestions feel free to drop them in the comments and as always thanks for watching and please subscribe. Happy trails. I'm pretty sure that this is about as big as John Zahorian's pack. <laughs>